The stricture on the eating of meat, does that derive from the fact that animals have their lives which are accorded? They still have God life. Yeah, well I'm asking, is that because animals have a higher priority in life than vegetables? No, it's not a priority. Not a priority. Our philosophy is that we are servants of God. So God will eat and whatever remnants of food stuff is left, that we shall take. So in the Bhagavad Gita you find out this verse. Patram Puspam Phalam Toyam Jumi Bhaktya Pudetsu. It's like you have come here. So if I want to offer you something for eatable, it is my duty to ask you. Mr. Nixon, which food stuff you like to eat? So you dictate, I like this very much. Then if I offer you that food stuff, then you become pleased. So we have called Krishna in this temple. So we are waiting what food stuff he wants to eat. So he said that if one offers me with love and devotion a leaf, a flower, fruit, or water, I will accept it. Patram Pasvam He is asking very simple thing which everyone can offer. Just like a little leaf, patram, a little flower, pushpam, a little fruit, and little liquid, either water or milk. So we offer that. We make different varieties with these ingredients, patram, puspam, phalam, toyam. And after Krishna's eating, we take it. We are sadmen. We take the remnants of food stuff left by Krishna. We, we are neither vegetarian nor non-vegetarian. We are prasadya. We don't care for vegetable and non-vegetable because either you kill a cow or kill a vegetable. The sinful action is there. And according to nature's law, it is said that the animals which has no hand, that is the food for the animals with hands. We are also animals with hands. We human beings, we are also animals with hands. And there are animals, no hand but four legs. And there are animals which have no leg. That is vegetable. Opadani Chatusvana. These animals which has no leg, they are food for the animals with four legs. Just like cow eats grass, the goat eats grass. So eating vegetable, there is no credit. Then the goats and the cows and more credit have more credit because they don't touch anything except vegetable. So we are not preaching to become goats and cows. We are preaching that you become servant of Krishna. So whatever Krishna eats, we eat. If Krishna says that give me meat, give me eggs, so we shall offer Krishna meat and eggs and we shall take it. So don't think that we are after vegetarian, non vegetarian. No. That is not our fear. Because either you take vegetable or you take meat, you are killing. And if you have to kill, because otherwise you cannot live. That is nature's way. Yeah. So we are not for that way. Well, why do you put the stricture on? Stricture on in this way, no meat eating. Because Cow protection is required. We require milk. And instead of taking milk, if we eat the cows, then where is milk? 
So milk is very important. Very, very important. In terms of the production of food for the world, the world would be much better off without milk. So is required. Some fatty, yeah. vitaminous food is required. That necessity is supplied by milk. Therefore, specifically, couldn't you get all the necessity that you require from grains? Grains, no. Grains, they are starch. According to medical science, we require four different groups. Starch, carbohydrate, protein, and fat. That is full food. So you can get all these things by eating rice, dal, mean pulses and wheat. These things contain pulses and wheat contains protein. And milk also contains protein. So protein we require. Fat we get from milk. Fat is required. And vegetables, carbohydrate, and food grain, starch. So if you prepare nice food stuff with all these ingredients, you get food and offer to Krishna. Then it's purified, then you are free from all sinful activity. Otherwise, even if you kill vegetables, you are sinful. Because it has got life. You have no right to kill another life. But you have to live on life. This is your position. Therefore, the solution is that you take prasada. If there is sin by eating vegetable or meat, it goes to the eater. And we take the remnants. That's all. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama.